Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the Mortis Bank plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows your players to have a bank account that will earn them interest and then they can upgrade their bank account to be able to store more money in it. Now there's a really cool GUI which makes it super easy to put in deposits and actually withdraw money as well. And overall, it's a really fantastic plugin and just a nice little add on for your economy. So, if I do forward slash bank and then help, that's going to show us all of the commands. Now, if we do forward slash bank on its own, that's going to open up the GUI. So, there's a few different buttons here. The top left is the deposit, so it will show your current balance, it will show how much interest you will earn. And as you can see, some of the numbers here are huge. Now, you can obviously change these in the config file because obviously 10 million bank coins is quite a lot. And then you can see every 31 hours you will get some interest, although you could change that. Withdraw, so here we can withdraw any amount we want, and we'll look at that in a second. And then it actually shows your previous transactions. As you can see, I've been kind of messing around with this, adding random amounts. And then down here on the bottom right, we have bank upgrades. So if we click this, you can see there are a few different accounts with different perks. Now this is the one you get for free, so for the first 10 million you get 2% and then 10 to 15 you get 1% interest. What you can see here is if we go to the next one, it is slightly improved. Now I've changed some of these numbers, that's why the max interest is actually uh, only 3,000 for this one. And then you can see as you get to bigger accounts, they cost an absolute ton, that's 100 million and that one's 200 million. Um, but then you get a lot of interest on you know, 55 billion. So obviously you'd want to tweak it to fit your economy for your server. So if we go ahead and see the second one costs 5 million and let's check my balance. So I only have 1 million. So what I can do is go into deposit and then when we're in here, you can see we can deposit the whole amount we have, so a million. We can go half or we can click this and put in a specific amount like 999, 999. And then if we hit bell again, we have a dollar left. We can see it says not enough coins because to spend the money, you obviously need it in your pocket, which is where the withdrawal button comes in. And then just like this is an extra button, you've obviously got everything, you've got half, you've got the specific amount, and then you've got 20%. So let's go ahead and take everything. And then what we're gonna do is go back into bank. We are going to go to upgrades and we are going to click to upgrade. So now if we hit full slash bank and then go into bank upgrades, you can see we are in the gold account. And if we go back to starter, it says you have a better one. And obviously we don't have enough coins for the next one. And then if we go to information, it says keep your coins safe in the bank. You lose half the coins in your purse when dying in combat. So that is another beneficial reason to keep it in your bank account. And then obviously you get interest as well. So there's a few other commands. There's obviously the bank open command. If you're an admin, you can open anyone's to have a look at what they've got. And then if we do admin and then deposit and then someone's name, you can put in a random amount. So we just uh, deposited a million into my account. And then you can do the command forward slash bank admin reload if you've made any big changes in the config file. So here we are in the SMP control panel. And as you can see, there are four different files. If we go to the config, you can see there is a MySQL database you can set up. And then here is the interest, so it's enabled and 31 hours. You could change that obviously, and then some messages down there. The data file, you don't need to edit, that just saves information. Um, and then we have the menus, so what they're gonna look like in the GUI. Obviously you could change the slots, the material, uh, the name, and the law if you really wanted to. Um, and then we have the upgrades. This is where you can actually make tweaks to the amount. So if we go to the gold one that we just had, so you can just make these numbers whatever you want just to make it fit your economy of your server. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. There is a wiki for more information and Discord if you need any help or have any suggestions. And then here are some placeholders you can use for other plugins if you have that, which is pretty awesome. And overall, it's a really handy, well-made plugin that I'd recommend. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.